Hello and welcome. I will be answering why 2020 Agric Science Objective past question 42. Tape one liver fluke and roundworm can be controlled by A. Flushing, B. Drenching, C. Dipping, D. Fumigation. So these four options given to us are methods okay, or management practices that are used for one reason or the other. So we, let's see which of them is used to control tapeworm, liver fluke and roundworm. Now mind you, these three, the aforementioned organisms, that is tapeworm, liver fluke and roundworm, are classified as endoparasites. Okay, endoparasites. That is, parasites that live inside the body of their host. Okay, so option A is flushing. Now flushing is a process, or refers to the process of increasing nutrient intake and body condition prior to and during breeding now option b says drenching okay now drenching refers to the process of administering the process of administering chemical solutions to animals with the purpose of protecting them from various parasites. Option C says dipping. Dipping is the process of immersing animals in a mixture of chemicals to control ectoparasites and lastly option D which is fumigation refers to the general application of chemicals okay in to the surroundings for the purpose of disinfection so these four practices as you, as you can see are practices in animal husbandry now option b which is drenching specifically talks about administering chemical solutions to animals okay to protect them from various parasites so these uh, chemical solutions are administered via okay, oral administration via the mouth and this is done to protect from various parasites including or specifically endoparasites endoparasites such as the tapeworm the liver fluke and the roundworm okay so option b drenching is the procedure that is used to control endoparasites such as tapeworm liver fluke and roundworm and it is the correct answer to this question thank you and please subscribe to this channel for more videos and for more past questions and answers